At first, I like to share the words of uh, our founder, Shinran Shoumin, from one of his letters. So please join me in Gashou. Please put your palms together. この身は今は年極まりてそうらえば、定めて先立ちて、往生しさうらずれば、浄土にて必ず必ず待ち参らせそうろうべしと。My life has now reached the fullness of its years. It is certain that I will go to birth in the pure land before you. So without fail, I will await you there. ナモアミーダブツ。ナモアミーダブツ。ナモアミーダブツ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ、ナンマンダブツ。Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Hatsubon、uh, Obon service. And、usually, we ask guest ministers to come to speak for、uh, our Hatsubon service, but you know, since this is my first year as Rinban of Sacramento Betsuin, I wanted to talk at Hatsubon service. Uh, to kind of introduce myself too. And I am originally from Shimane Prefecture、uh, in Japan. How many of you have been to Shimane Prefecture before? I know yeah, it's not really popular、uh, prefecture to visit, <laughs> so I only saw like、uh, two hands up. <laughs> but you know,、um, my hometown is Shimane Prefecture, but I graduated from elementary school, middle school, and high school in. Kanazawa City in Ishikawa Prefecture. So, you know, I feel like Kanazawa City is more like my hometown. Then, how many of you have been to Kanazawa City before? Oh, yeah, yeah, a little bit popular than Shimane Prefecture, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> And in Kanazawa,、uh, there is a tradition of Kiriko Lantern at、uh, Obon. And these,、uh, this, you know, this picture is a Kiriko Lantern. And it is really beautiful to see. And since I was living at one of the temples in Kanazawa City, I helped hanging Kiriko ran- Lantern. And do you know what these characters said? No? No? I know some people do. It said, Namo Amida Butsu, right? And on the side or back, Uh, there is a name or a Buddhist name of the deceased, and it is hanged throughout Obon season. And, you know,、uh, I think my temple I was staying at, we had hundreds of lanterns hanging. So it was really beautiful to see in the nighttime. But, you know, anyway, Hatsubon, Hatsubon service is for those who have passed away between last Obon and this Obon. And we had so many memorial services since last Obon, as you see. These are the names of the、uh, Buddhist n a m e of the, those who have passed away since last year. And since I was assigned to Sacramento Betsin officially from July 1st this year, and I was coming to Betsin for nine days since last November every month. You know, I had no chance to officiate the memorial services.、Uh, I, I conducted few, but I didn't have much chance to,、um, you know, officiate memorial services and get to know、uh, each of you. But, you know, it is really difficult to lose somebody、uh, we love. And as I have experience of losing mother at her young age, I know how hard it is to lose our loving. Families and friends. And then I really think that the teaching of the Pure One, Joro Shinshu teaching, is really assuring. You know, the hardest part of being a Buddhist minister is that we have to see the tears of people by losing their loved ones. And since I have experienced seven separations from my loving family members in my life, I know how hard it is to lose loved ones. So every time, it is a heartbreaking moment for me to see the tears of the members who lost the loved ones. And all I can do is to share the sadness of the loss with the family and share the teaching of Buddhism. But at the same time, I feel grateful for being able to be the part 
of the important moment of life of the families. You know, I might be the one who is conducting the memorial services for the loved ones who have passed away, but actually, I am also the one who is given the opportunity to listen to the Dharma, listen to the teaching, and realizing the truth of interdependence, impermanence, through the passing of the person. And before coming to Sacramento, I was at Oregon Buddhist Temple in Portland, Oregon, and a few episodes of the members who have passed away uh, remains in my heart. So let me share a few, of the, uh, few episodes with you today. So one day, I received a phone call uh, from one of the members saying, my dad is about to pass away, but we want to have service before he passes, so could you come? So I went to, I went to the place, and the outside of the facility, I was told from the family that their father was ready to leave this world. Since I knew this man who, who was about to pass away, I made my mind up not to cry during the service, and I imagined the figure of him suffering from pain, not being able to have conversation and such. So I went inside the room, but he seemed much better than I expected. I told him that we are going to chant Jusege. Then he said, okay. And actually, he chanted Jusege really aloud, actually louder than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was really surprised to hear him chanting Jusege so aloud, right? Because I was told he was about to leave this world, right? Then I asked this man again after the chanting, I know you love singing Ondok-san. Which version of Ondok-san do you want to sing? Then he was closing his eyes. I waited for a moment. He didn't answer, so I thought, oh, he went to sleep. But suddenly he said, two. <laughs> <laughs> So I was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's sing Ondok-san 2 to, together. Then again, he sang Ondok-san 2 really aloud. And so I was really amazed to see a person, you know, chanting Jusege and uh, singing Ondok-san 2 at the moment of passing, right? So this person grew up in a temple tradition, and Jusege and Ondok-san was something he heard chanted and sang for his lifetime. So it was in his blood. And after the singing, I told person, You know, there's no need to worry about anything. Then the man nodded his head and said, No worries, no worries. So that moment is strongly remaining in my heart. And another person who is remaining in my heart is that the person who lost his child. He was in 90s, and his child was about 50-something. And he gave a really touching message at the service. He said, I feel that I should have been the one who is going. But now you are in Ojodo with your mom. So I could not help but nod my head and say, Nam Mandav, Nam Mandav. So Ojodo is the pure land of Amira Buddha, the realm of enlightenment where we are going to attain Buddhahood. And in our tradition, we are taught that we will be born there when we pass away. So remembering these people, these two people, I remembered the words of Shinnan Shongi, which I shared at the beginning. My life has now reached the fullness of its years. It is certain that I will go to birth in the pure land before you. So without fail, I will await you there. Oh, I went too far, sorry, this way. 
<laughs> so, Shin Nan Shogin was feeling his health declining and felt that his end is near. But the existence of the Pure Land was assuring for him. And just like the two persons I introduced today, the existence of the Pure Land was assuring for them too. And it is assuring for the families who are left in this world to know that the death is not the permanent separation. So in Japan, it is common to put this word. It's too far, so maybe a little bit hard to see. But um, in front of the gravestone, it said, Kue Isho, Kue Isho. And this is actually uh, from one of the cemeteries in Portland, Oregon. But this word, Kue Isho, is often interpreted as we meet together in one place. We meet together in one place. So for us, Jodo Shinshu Buddhist, death is not separation or not something we are feeling or falling into darkness. But it is the birth into the realm of enlightenment and attainment, attainment of Buddhahood. And our loved ones who have passed away before us, they did not disappear from our lives, even though their physical bodies are gone now. But they became the working to teach and guide us to the truth of our lives. So on this occasion of Hatsubon, please recollect the memories of the loved ones and let us hear their wishes one more time, once again. I am sure that our loved ones who have passed away are wishing us to live as happily and as fully as we can. So I would like to conclude my talk with the reading of traditional epistle on white ashes, uh, written by our eighth head priest, Renyo Shonin. So please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. And I will read it in Japanese first, and then later in English. So <laughs> Ninguno いまだ漫才の人人の受け取りという事を聞かず一生過ぎやすし今に至って誰か百年の業態を保つべきや我や先人や先 今日とも知らず明日とも知らず遅れ先立つ人は元の雫末の梅雨よりも茂しと言えりされば明日には高岸なって夕べには ことなれるみなに既に無常の風来たりぬればすなわち二つの眼子たちまちにとじ一つの息長く耐えぬれば高岸むなしく返じて通りの予想通りを失いぬる時は六神剣族集まって嘆き悲しめどもさらにその甲斐あるべからずさてしもあるべきことならねばとて野外に送って
夜あの煙となし果てぬればただ八骨の溝の氷に哀れというもなかなか愚かなにされば人間の儚きことは老少不浄の境になれば誰の人も早く御生の一大事を心にかけて阿弥陀仏と深く頼みまいらせて念仏もすべきものなにあなかしこあなかしこオンワイタシス In silently contemplating the transient nature of human existence, nothing is more fragile and fleeting in this world than the life of man. Thus, we have not heard of human life lasting for a thousand years. Life passes swiftly, and few among men can maintain their form for even 100 years. Whether I go before others or others go before me, whether I be today or tomorrow, who is to know? Those who depart before us are as countless as the drops of dew. Though in the morning we may have radiant health, in the evening we may return to white ashes. When the winds of impermanence blow, our eyes are closed forever. And when the last breath leaves us, our face loses its color. Though loved ones gather and lament, everything is to no avail. The body is then sent to an open field and vanishes from this world with the smoke of cremation, leaving only the white ashes. Nothing is more real than these truths of life. The fragile nature of human existence underlies both the young and the old. Therefore, we must, one and all, turn to the teachings of the Buddha and awaken to the essence of life. By so understanding the meaning of death, we come to appreciate the meaning of this life, which is to be treasured because it is unrepeatable. By virtue of true compassion, let us realize the unexcelled value of this existence and let us live together with gratitude in our hearts, humbly and respectfully. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namo Amida Butz. Namanda Butz. Namanda Butz. Namanda.